Hi guys, I have a question. Do you have brain insulin resistance? Okay, now what is that? That's a condition where you're almost you're pre-diabetic, but it's really affecting your brain in the aspects of memory loss, okay? Uh, let's say you're trying you can't retrieve words as fast as you want, or you're going in a room and where where what am I going in this room again? Like you're losing that. Where did I park? Uh, Alzheimer's too. I mean, there's a huge connection with diabetics being also having Alzheimer's, and that is simply because um, the brain is highly sensitive to insulin, okay? Insulin regulates brain metabolism. So you probably heard that the brain runs on sugar. That's true. And what happens when you eat a lot of sugar or you're a pre-diabetic, what a lot of people ha are pre-diabetic, they don't even know it, you're building up a lot of sugar into the body and into the brain. So the body is going to resist that. And it's going to start to um, block the insulin because insulin is like the trap door that allows the sugar in. So it's going to create a condition called insulin resistance in the cell. So you're going to lose the ability to uh, absorb insulin and sugar to the brain. Okay. What's going to happen? You're going to basically shrink cells, neurons. You're going to destroy cells. You're going to starve cells. You're going to create inflammation in the brain. You're going to create placking in the brain. Um, it's going to really affect the neural communications in the brain. I'm going to put some links down below because there is a huge uh, amount of research being done on this right now. In fact, you know what they're doing? They're spraying through the nostrils uh, this highly permeable insulin to actually help the person's memory, and it's working. But you don't want to do that because you start injecting the person with insulin or spraying it, you never fix the real cause you're just going to make it worse because as the body gets more insulin, it's going to resist it more to the point where um, then you're going to require more and more insulin to create the same effect. Now, it was once thought, um, and I have this right in Guyton's Physiology. I looked this up and it's true. The common thought was your brain is insensitive to insulin. And, the, and what does that mean? It means that you don't need insulin to absorb glucose. Glu glucose will go right in and you don't even need insulin. But it's now known that you do need insulin in the brain and and when they actually realized that everything made sense because all these pre-diabetics also had a big symptom of memory loss especially diabetics have a problem with memory and just mental cognitive function and then they start getting Alzheimer's so what I'm gonna say right now is this if you are starting to lose your memory if you have Alzheimer's or you know someone I would instantly put them on an eating plan that fixes insulin resistance, okay? And that involves several things. And I put some links down below of, of the, the details of how to do that. And you will see huge improvements in mental capacity, cognitive function, and memory. So go ahead and do that and actually put your comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing the results. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button. Press it. Forget it, forget it, I'm done. Press the subscribe button and I will keep you updated on the future events.